Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and in today's video I'm bringing you guys another Forzathon guide. Now this is where I show you the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's Forzathon is called Long Standing Tradition and it wants you to use the 2011 Ford Transit Super Sport van to complete all of its challenges. Now here is the van in question, it will set you back about 50,000 credits and you can pick it up from the auto show. There is also a Forza Edition version of it which you can use but for this this video I'm just going to use the standard version. Now I've created a tune for you guys to use as well if you want to. You don't have to and you don't really need a tune for these challenges but it does make them a bit livelier. So the share code for that was just shown on the screen there and it was called 220 mile an hour. Now the first challenge wants you to win two road sprint events in your Ford Transit Super Sport van, which is really easy. Now I have of course created a really easy route for you to guys to use. It's at the Lakehurst Forest Sprint event. Now, if you don't want to use this route, that's fine, but just remember when you do pick a race, make sure to use a sprint one and not a circuit, otherwise you won't complete the challenge. Now, the race I've created for you guys is called Super Quick, and the share code for that is 208672282, and it's literally a not even a 0.2 mile long race, where the AI, of course, just go off into the woods and you'll never see them again, so you can just fly past them and complete the challenge really quickly and really easily. All you have to do then is win the first race and then another one, and that's the first challenge complete. So it's a really, really quick and easy challenge and shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. Now, the next challenge wants you to earn eight bin man skills in your transit. Now, a bin man skill is just a wreckage skill where you smash into a bin. It doesn't matter what bin as long as it is a bin. And it will, of course, pop up saying bin man skill when you've got it. Now, there are loads of bins dotted across the map. But to get this one, I recommend heading up to Edinburgh and in particular going to Princess Street. So it's this long sort of massive street there in the middle of the Edinburgh area. And the reason for that is because there are bins scattered everywhere. So specifically on this main street where the trams go, on every like both sides of the road, there are bins dotted around every couple hundred sort of yards. It's literally ridiculous. Now, one thing you will spot here is the bin man skill doesn't pop up every time you smash into a bin. So it's probably got, I think, like a five or ten second reset on it, just like they made on Forza Horizon 3 with the drift tap skill. So it's sort of wait a minute before you get the skill again. Now it's it's really not a big issue because there's so many bins down the high street you can just run one length on one side of the road and smash into a load and do the same the other way now i'm sure that every time you smash into a bin it probably will count it as a skill but if it doesn't it doesn't really matter because to get eight of them i think it was will literally still only take you a few minutes as there are so many dotted around and like I said, even if it's sort of every one out of four bins you smash, you get the bin man skill. Again, it's not a time consuming thing. On both sides of the road here, there are bins scattered everywhere. So it's a really nice and easy challenge, if I'm honest. Not really a challenge, you just got to smash shit up, really. Um, now moving on to the final challenge, it wants you to earn 10 trading paint skills. Now we're just going to do the same way we did it last week with the racing truck. So first of all we're going to go into Horizon Solo where there are more AI cars on the road. And then again we're going to head over to the motorway. Now you can stick on Princess Street up in Edinburgh for this challenge if you want. But I'd recommend just hitting up the motorway because there will be plenty more cars there. And of course we all know a trading paint skill is where you just gently give another AI car uh, a little bit of a love tap really. Now, what I do regret doing for this video is I didn't get the second life perk, which means that if you hit a car too hard, of course, you'll lose your chain. It doesn't really matter for the purposes of the challenge because as soon as a trade and paint skill pops up, then it will have sort of tallied up for the actual Forzathon event, but it just it's better when it keeps your keeps your skill chain going. So I'd probably recommend getting the second life perk if you have enough skill points. But it doesn't matter if you don't. At the end of the day, every time you get a trade and paint skill, it will count up in the tally. And again, this challenge will not even take you five minutes to do. As you can see, there are plenty of cars on the highway here. And again do it in solo mode where more cars will spawn and you can hit the other actual sort of race races on the road so to speak whereas when you're online and there's sort of online players on there you'll just ghost right through them so it didn't really work and there are less ai cars on the road when you're in online mode but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best i want to make sure that you're happy with everything if there are any questions or you've got any doubts don't forget to put them down below in the comments i will always respond to you guys and help you out as best as i can but again apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you take care stay safe and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe as well 
But apart from that, thank you very much.